everyone, I'm Liam from Maxon UK and today I want to tell you a little bit about Body Paint 3D. Now Body Paint 3D is a great tool for more complicated texture work in 3D software such as what we're seeing in this scene here where we've got all this lovely texture work on the TV, on the um, speakers here, the console, on the girl's t-shirt, so we've got logos, we've got stripes on our arms and on her hat there. And also if we go to the front of the TV, just little work here. So if you're interested in doing this kind of texture work, um, Body Paint 3D is a great solution. So what actually is it? Well, it's a suite of powerful tools for texturing. You have 3D painting tools, image editing tools, UV editing tools. And then depending on which version uh, you buy, you can either buy the standalone application of Body Paint 3D, which also includes 3D sculpting tools, or the UV editing and 3D painting tools are built into Cinema 4D Prime, Broadcast and Visualize, and the sculpting tools you can find in Studio, so different configurations. Body Paint 3D is a standalone application, costs around £750 XFAT, so it's a good solution if you're a character designer or a games artist looking for an all-in-one solution that can build, model, basic animation, rendering, um, as well as all the powerful texturing that you may need. Okay, so let's show you why it's good. So we've got this example here like we've seen with all this complicated work here. So let's take a look at how that was built. First up, we're looking at a very standard interface here. So we are in Body Paint 3D, but you can see this looks remarkably similar to Cinema 4D. And that's because it is. This is all of the interface of Cinema 4D Prime because you get that with Body Paint 3D as a standalone application. So you have modeling tools, texturing tools, lighting tools, rendering animation, etc. It's all in there. Um, so if we flick though, layout, there are a few different layouts that are useful to a Body Paint 3D artist. There's 3D Paint, UV edit Editing Mode, and you can also change the top menu to Body Paint 3D as opposed to Cinema 4D. So I'm going to jump into the UV Edit Mode. There we go. And we're going to take a look, little look at this scene. So this scene is actually in the presets um, of the content browser for Body Paint 3D example scenes. So if you own the software, have a look at that uh, this particular scene because it's really useful to learn from. So we can see the scene was made by Yan. I think it's Yan Gay or Yan Ji. Um, it's a really lovely scene because it's got so much that's been set up in Body Paint 3D. Um, so if we go down to the TV group, the back of the TV is what I'm interested in here. I'm going to have a look at this in a minute. Um, and if we have a look at the materials, <clears throat> if we scroll down, you can see loads of stuff has been set up here. Um, there's the back. That's the one I want. This one. There we go. And the scene as well. Just have a look at it ourselves in a moment. So yeah, you can see all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff here. And you can do things like, you can see it's a full layering system. So you can see that different things have been applied to different layers. And just like you'd be um, having an image editor, you've got things like mixing modes, opacity and mixing modes. So all the typical ones that you'll find in an image editor are all in there. So we can multiply, for example normal. You can merge layers down, create your own new layers. I don't think there's much of a limit on layers. It's a very useful layering system there. And while I'm talking about layers, another thing that you can do with this material setup is if you go into preferences, which is command E or control E on a PC, body paint 3D, you can leave it at the default format of TIFF, but if you'd rather, you can jump into PSD format so, which makes moving to Photoshop, if you ever need to, that a little bit easier. Um, so that's there as well. And that will also bring over your mixing modes and your layer names. So it's quite a cool thing to have in there as well. So the workflow between Cinema 40 and Photoshop is pretty tight. Okay, so why would you want to have Body Paint 3D over an image editor such as Photoshop or as well as an image editor like Photoshop? Well, the big thing about it is um, the ability to see your texture changes in real time. So of course if we're working in Photoshop you would be typically doing this sort of stuff. So you you do your paint and then you'd bring this into your um, 
3D application, then you'd apply it to it or update the, the texture and then see what the change is looking like. So you're really relying on this, which is your UV map, which is the method that's been used to unwrap this 3D model um, it, into basically a flat version to figure out how your texture should be applied or projected onto the model. So that's great if your UV map is done really nicely, um, but UV maps typically is very difficult to keep the entire map in one piece um, and it often has to be split into sections like we're seeing here and that causes problems particularly if you want to paint over where there is a seam of your map because it's like well how do I do that in an image editor it's very difficult so one thing you can do with um, body paint is you can send over a layer with this UV mesh on to Photoshop which can help but if you don't really care about your UV mesh and there are two reasons why you may not care about your UV mesh one of which sorry there's two reasons why you may care about your UV mesh is it's very important for games engines so if you're a games artist you need uh, really efficient UVs um, so in that case you want to have nice UVs and Body Paint 3D has a full suite of UV editing tools um, that can help unwrap models nicely um, so it's important for for that side of things and also if you're going to do detailed texture work inside Photoshop so if you find your texturing needs are more advanced than what you can do in Body Paint 3D um, that's the other reason why you need good UVs so you don't have to do things like this like split stuff over but UV editing that's a complex beast and we're going to go over that in a future tutorial I know Matt at our office has uh, already done the start of one to show you the basic texturing of a game asset and more will come but anyway let's talk about um, working on this particular object here and why it's cool so uh, da, da, da. one sec there we go okay I was just there we go um, what I wanted to show you is some of the benefits of painting in a 3d application so versus Photoshop so we already said one of the things it solves is you can paint and see your result very quick and you can see the um, editor view of body, uh, of body Paint 3D is like Cinema 4D, it's the same so you get this lovely real-time reflections, um, lovely colors so it's very easy to see even in the editor view what the final result is going to look like when you come to render so that's cool and as you paint that's pretty cool as well because you can go well I want to paint it there and you don't have to think where is that on my model it'll do it for you now there is a headache here which is a, a typical headache of any games artist or anyone who does UV mapping because where there are breaks in the seam if I make this a little bit bigger and we go up with a red color just so you can see watch this carefully hopefully you can see that as we're going over the seam sometimes it's okay and other times you get this yucky bit and what that's to do with it it's basically where the map size differs slightly between here and here um, and it's not it's not the same so body paint attempts to to paint over it as best it can but sometimes it's just too complicated for a standard 3d painter and you get these horrible problems here of course you'd have exactly the same problem in Photoshop because you'd have to go right paint here and I'll paint there and that's a total nightmare so you're like well that's great but it's not quite there now here's the cool thing like I say if you're not bothered about UV maps um, being perfect so if you work in film or you work on TV anywhere where you know there's not a, a games engine that needs that nice nice map here's what you can do there's a mode called projection painting and we turn that on and it will prep the scene for us just get my color back just so we can see a little more clearly check this now that looks pretty doesn't it and very fast too now that solved the problem so what the heck did it do well you may see here that the texture warps slightly now projection paint basically takes the view that you're currently on and so and then it projects the the texture planar to the camera onto your texture map 
and by doing so it, it will also warp the texture if it needs to to ensure that it's perfect at the areas so although we can't see it very well it's actually doing some work here at the seams to say uh, this has got to be fixed so we'll, we'll make this good here and you can see I can still paint as I was before but look no seams at all and that's the killer killer reason to use a 3d painter as long as it's got projection painting over something like Photoshop Sorry, I think I'm hitting a button, uh, which is changing my texture view there. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool um, that you've got this power. So Poly Paint 3D gets cooler though. Um, one of the coolest things that you can do is the ability to projection cut and paste an actual image. So I'm going to show you that. Let's just get rid of that that texture stuff that I've done there because it's not very pretty. And if I go and open a texture. And I'll go grab this Cinema 4D logo. You've also got in Body Paint 3D a full layering system, which is very similar to the likes of uh, an image editor like Photoshop. So things like alpha channels can come in. You can select from that layer. So I'm just going to make that alpha selection there and then use that to select here. Copy paste works very similarly. So Control or Command C will copy the layer, or you can do that here. So I've got that there. Um, and if I go back to my other texture, watch this. This is the coolest thing. This is Body Paint has had this for years and it's still awesome. So I basically go to a view like I did before. And now if I, whoops, now if I, sorry, Control V here, you can see it allows me to bring in that texture or that logo. And look what it's doing on the right hand side. It warps it so it looks good to me, but it says, okay, you want it to look good at that camera angle, I will warp it so it fits your UVs or your texture map, but it looks good to you, which is extremely powerful because it doesn't care how bad your UVs are. And then to apply it, you just hit enter. It'll say, do you want to transform the layer? And we'll go, yeah, that's fine. And it's done it, it's applied it to our object there. Sorry, hit another, whoops, not there. I hit a button again. I stop hitting buttons. And you can see it looks good at that angle, but it is actually applied it and warped it. So it, at a different angle, it's done the work, which is awesome and so powerful. And forget about doing that sort of thing in Photoshop, just not possible. Um, so yeah, that's the killer killer thing about body paint 3d versus an image editor like photoshop so remember you can also have this in psd format so if you want to do any fine texture work or in photoshop you can still do that which is cool as if that's not good enough things get even better so we've got where did i put that let's have a look hang on so that that's on that particular layer there you can do things like add new layers so i could say right i need a, a new layer here and i'm going to do new work on there Body Paint 3D comes with a stack load of brushes, and okay, what we do? Brushes, so what? Well, you've got standard tools, but one thing I want to point out about the standard tools, just while I remember, is if I grab a brush like I had before, and I paint, whoops, we don't want our projection paint back on, and I paint like so, that's great, um, but one thing to point out as well is that you can link any property down here to properties of your graphics tablet. So for example, the size can be affected by pen pressure if I'm painting with a graphics tablet, or if I paint with another brush, whoops, I'm getting trigger happy now, sorry. If I paint with something a bit more interesting, check this we've got a thing called multi brushes and this is another killer reason to use body paint 3d is the you have the ability to paint in multiple channels at the same time so here are some multi brushes I'm going to just find a non-organic one and you can make your own as well and they're basically bitmap brushes um, that work beautifully with uh, body paint 3d so if we have a look at the material here and I'm also just going to let me think about this what do I want to do I'm just going to go and find that particular material and I'm going to add an extra channel to it. I'm going to add bump and then in the bump I'm going to say give me a new image, so new texture 
and while I'm here, body paint textures can be massive. You can have 64K textures if your computer can handle it, so they can be huge. In this, this case, I'm just going to go 1600 by 1600. So I'll add that to the scene. And then if we go back to here, you can see bumps now added. And I'm just going to add material there. And this is basically saying, okay, you want to paint in the color. I'm going to paint in a reflection as well with my zip brush. So actually the zip brush is just color and, and, and bump. Um, but if I paint, it's affecting both as I paint, which is pretty cool. So you can see that little sheen on top of the zip there. Uh, and you can configure that and tailor that to however you wish. Um, but it's really cool that you've got that control. And also little things like you can adjust the spacing, you can adjust the rotation so it follows your draw direction. Just little things like that that make it so fun to work with. And you can see that you know you can just go as much as you want with this. So we could grab a say a rust rust brush and oops. I'm so trigger happy with my stuff, sorry. Like so which is really cool that you've got that control with it. You can also do other things like you can, I think it's, is it that one? Let's see, hang on. You can say, do you know what? I'm gonna paint in two at the same time and I can do stuff like that. Now the difference in the texturing there is just purely because the TV front has some mixing modes on, I think. Let me have a look. Yeah, multiply. So if I put that to normal, Oh, I'd have to mess around with it, but it's oh there, it's a different opacity. There you go, which is quite clever because it goes okay. That's got different strength, but I'll still do the brushwork between it. So not only can you do multiple channels, you can paint over multiple objects that are on separate texture maps, which is awesome. So what I'm hopefully banging home here that Body Paint 3D is a seriously powerful piece of texturing software. Um, that works beautifully with Cinema 4D or you can use it standalone with all, all of the other tools that you've got and it covers so much uh, useful stuff and like we've seen there it's it's doing all of the warping of the textures for us so to us the camera view it looks good but away from the camera view you know it warps it like there you can see the amount of work it's doing on the map there um, to ensure that it looks good on the model even though the UV map isn't ideal. Um, so really, really powerful. So that's projection painting that does all of that. Um, I think that was the main things that I wanted to show you um, in this particular um, demo. Um, as well as this, if you decide, hey, I'm a games artist, I really need good UV maps, we'll cover that in a separate tutorial. I know Matt's covered the, the one on um, just creating a quick game asset where it just shows you the very basics of UV mapping. But Body Paint's got a full suite of tools that are very powerful and you can edit them with points. There's loads of different modes, um, but it's quite a, a long topic. So I'm going to leave that in a minute. And this was really just to illustrate some of the core powerful tools of Body Paint 3D. There's also the sculpting tools if you have the standalone app or the um, the studio version of Cinema 4D. Um, so we'll cover those in a separate tutorial as well. Um, but yeah, for, it's a very powerful piece of kit and um, hopefully that's giving you an idea of what you can do with it and why it is useful. Thanks very much for watching and see you in another video.